This guide shows you how to connect your wireless device to a wireless router using Windows Vista. Now, you'll need to ensure that your computer or laptop is as close as you can get it to the router. Don't stick it actually right on top of the router. Make sure it's at least a foot or 30 centimeters away from the router. Um, the next thing you'll need to know is you'll need to know what your network name is or SSID and also your network password or network key. This can usually be found somewhere on the router. If not, then you would have had to have set this up as part of the router installation. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to move our mouse to the TV screens down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. These also may be shown as uh, bars, grey bars. <clears throat> At the moment my one is just showing as uh, TV screens. So I'll just move my mouse down to the TV screens, left click once and as you'll see it says wireless networks are available. So I double click the TV screens and it tells me connect to a network. So we'll click connect to a network. Now here is a list of wireless networks that are in, in the local area. So the, the my wireless network is HTWAS, which as you can see is just there. So all we do is double left click on our network name and then it'll ask us for the password. So I'm just gonna type in the password for my wireless network. And then I just click left click once on connect. And as you'll see, it says connecting to HTWAS which is the name of my wireless network, and it says successfully connected to HTWAS. Now, if you're gonna use this wireless network um, on a regular basis, then you'll want to ensure that there's a tick in save this network and also a tick in start this connection automatically. When finished, click close. Now it's gonna ask you to select a location for the network. Now. Obviously, if, you're, if, if this is a home computer, then we click home. If it's a work computer and you're, you're connecting at work, then we click the work location. If you're connecting in a public location, such as a coffee bar, an airport, or another public place, and it's not, you don't want anyone to have access to any of the files on your computer, then click public location. I'm just going to select home for, for this. Okay, now it may come up asking you that Windows needs your permission to continue. So we just click continue. And then it says successfully set network settings. So we just click close. And now we should find that we're connected to the internet. As you can see down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen now, we have our two TV screens with a, a bluey coloured globe beside them. This indicates that we do have a connection. If you find that you haven't got the globe beside the two TV screens, then just try firing up Internet Explorer just to see whether you get a connection or not. Sometimes the globe can be slightly delayed in appearing. Sometimes, uh, depending on your wireless network, it may not display at all. Um, so as I say, the best thing to try is to try firing up Internet Explorer to see if you get a web page.